Welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we are going to continue our discussion in implicit differentiation. For example, number 1, find dy dx when x cubed plus y cubed equals 8. So how can we find the value of dy over dx in this equation? So the first step that we're going to do is to differentiate both sides of the equation. So we are going to have d over dx and then x cubed plus y cubed equals 8. Then the derivative of x cubed that is 3x squared. And whenever we differentiate y variable, it is always associated with dy over dx. So the derivative of y cubed, that is 3y squared times dy over dx. And the derivative of 8, that is 0. So to simplify our answer, let us move 3x squared on the other side. It will give us 3y squared dy over dx equals negative 3x square and then let us divide both sides by 3y square let's cancel this one so the value of dy over dx is so 3 is being cancelled that is negative x square over y square and this will be our answer on number 2 Find dy over dx when x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals 5. So to find the value of dy over dx, let us differentiate this equation. Let us have d over dx, and then x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals 5. And then let us find the derivative of x squared, and that is 2x. And then let us find the derivative of 2x multiplied by y. So as you can see, we have a product of 2x and y. So the value of u, that is 2x, and the value of v, that is y. And product rule, that is u prime times v plus u b prime. u prime, that is the derivative of 2x, and that is 2. And then v, that is y. And then u, that is 2x. And the derivative of y, that is 1, but it is associated with dy over dx. And to simplify, let us have 2y plus 2x dy over dx. So let us write here 2y plus 2x dy over dx. And then the derivative of y square, that is 2y associated with dy over dx and the derivative of 5 that is 0 and then let us move 2x and 2y on the other side it will give us 2x dy over dx plus 2y dy over dx equals negative 2x minus 2y and then let us factor this one let us have 2x plus 2y dy over dx equals negative 2x minus 2y. So we can minimize our equation by dividing the whole equation by 2. So let us have x plus y dy over dx equals negative x minus y. And to simplify our answer, let us divide the whole equation by x plus y. So the value of dy over dx, that is negative x minus y over x plus y. And then, if you want to simplify this expression, let us have dy over dx. So the greatest common factor of negative x and negative y, that is negative one. And then let us have x plus y over x plus y. So if you are going to multiply negative 1 on x plus y, it will give us negative x minus y. So therefore, this one is being cancelled. So dy over dx is equal to negative 1. And this will be our answer. On number 3, 
find dy over dx when 5xy minus y cubed equals 8. So the first step that we're going to do is to differentiate this equation to find the value of dy over dx. So let us have d over dx and then 5xy minus y cubed equals 8. So let us find the derivative of product of 5x and y. So let us have the value of u, that is 5x, and the value of v, that is y. And product rule, that is u prime times v plus u b prime. u prime, that is the derivative of 5x, and that is 5. And then let us have v, that is y. And then u, that is 5x. And the derivative of y, that is 1. But whenever we differentiate y variable, it is always associated with dy over dx. So let us have 5y plus 5x dy over dx. So let us write here. Let us have 5y plus 5x dy over dx. And then the derivative of y cube that is 3y square dy over dx equals the derivative of 8 that is 0. So let us move 5y on the other side of the equation. It will leave us as 5x dy over dx minus 3y square dy over dx equals negative 5y. So let us factor this one. Let us have 5x minus 3y square times dy over dx equals negative 5y. And then let us divide the whole equation by 5x minus 3y square. So let us cancel this one. So the value of dy over dx is negative 5y over 5x minus 3y square. And this will be our answer. On number 4, find dy over dx when tangent xy equals 7. So let us find first the derivative of tangent xy equals 7. Always remember the derivative of tangent u that is second square u multiplied by u prime. So as you can see, the derivative of tangent is second square, and then let us copy the value of u, which is xy. And then, let us multiply this one by u prime. u prime is a product of x and y. So the value of u will be x, and the value of v, that is y. And product rule, that is u prime times v plus u b prime. So u prime, that is the derivative of x, and that's 1, and v, that is y, and u, that is x, and the derivative of y, that is 1, but it is associated with dy over dx. So therefore, u prime, that is y plus x dy over dx. So let us multiply this one by second square xy. So let us have y plus x dy over dx. And then, the derivative of 7, that is 0. Then, let us divide the whole equation by second square xy. So let us cancel this one. We are going to have y plus x dy over dx equals, if you are going to divide this one, it will leave us as 0. And then let us move y on the other side. It will give us x dy over dx equals negative y. And then let us divide the whole equation by x. Let's cancel this one. So the value of dy over dx is negative y over x. And this will be our answer. On number 5, Find the second derivative when 36 equals square root of x squared plus y squared. So the fastest way to answer this question is to eliminate 
the radical sign on the given equation. So let us have 36 equals square root of x square plus y square. So let us square both sides of the equation to eliminate the radical sign. So let us have 36 square, then let us cancel this one, x square plus y square. And then let us differentiate both sides of the equation. So the derivative of 36 square, that is 0. And the derivative of x square, that is 2x. And the derivative of y square, that is 2y dy over dx. And then, let us move 2x on the other side. It will give us negative 2x equals 2y dy over dx. And then, let us divide the whole equation by 2y. So the value of dy over dx is negative x over y. So we cancel 2. So this will be the first derivative. Now, to find the second derivative, let us have d square y over dx square of negative x over y. So as you can see, we have a quotient of negative x and y. So the value of u, that is negative x, and u prime, that is the derivative of negative x, and that is negative 1. And then v, that is the denominator, that's y. And v prime, that is the derivative of y, that is 1, but it is associated with dy over dx. And quotient rule, that is v u prime minus u b prime over b square. So the value of v, that is y, and then u prime, that's negative 1, and then u, that is negative x, and then v prime, that is 1 dy over dx, and then v, that is y, and then square. So let us have negative y plus x, and the value of dy over dx, that is negative x over y over y square. Then after that, let us have y multiplied by negative y, that is negative y square plus, or this one is negative, x times negative x, that is negative x square over y divided by y square. And to simplify this one, let us multiply y square and y. It will give us, let us write here, negative y square minus x square over y cubed. And this will be our answer. On number 6, differentiate 2x square plus 3xy plus y square equals 0 implicitly and find the slope of the tangent line at 1 comma 5. So let us find first the derivative of the given equation. Let us have d over dx and then 2x square plus 3xy plus y square equals 0. So the derivative of 2x square that is 4x. And the derivative of product of 3x and y, so the value of u will be 3x and v that is y. And product rule that is u prime times v plus u b prime. So the value of u prime that is the derivative of 3x and that is 3. And v that is y. And then u that is 3x. And the derivative of y or v prime that is 1 dy over dx. Always remember, whenever we differentiate y variable, it is always associated with dy over dx. So let us simplify. Let us add 3y plus 3x dy over dx. So let us write here 3y plus 3x dy over dx plus the derivative of y squared, that is 2y dy over dx and the derivative of 0 is 0. And then let us move 4x and 3y on the other side of the equation. 
it will give us 3x dy over dx plus 2y dy over dx equals negative 4x minus 3y. So let us factor this one. Let us have 3x plus 2y times dy over dx equals negative 4x minus 3y. And then divide both sides by 3x plus 2y. Let's cancel this one. So the value of dy over dx is negative 4x minus 3y all over 3x plus 2y. So this will be our answer. And to find the slope of the tangent line, let us substitute the value of x and y to the given equation. So the value of x will be 1 and y will be 5. So let us have here, sub the slope, that is negative 4 times x, that is 1, minus 3 times y, that's 5, all over 3 times 1 plus 2 times 5. So let us have negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, all over 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 times 5 is 10. So therefore, the slope of the tangent line at 1, 5 is negative 19 over 13. And this will be our answer. On number 7, differentiate x squared plus y squared equals 2 implicitly and find the slope of the tangent line at square root of 5 comma square root of 3. So let us find first the derivative of the given equation. So let us have d over dx, x squared plus y squared equals 2. So the derivative of x squared that is 2x and the derivative of y squared that is 2y dy over dx and the derivative of 2 that is 0 so let us move 2x on the other side it will give us 2y dy over dx equals negative 2x and then divide both sides by 2y so this one dy over dx is negative x over y so we cancel 2 this will be our answer now to find the slope let us have negative x over y so the value of x will be square root of 5 and the value of y will be square root of 3. So to simplify this one, let us rationalize to eliminate the radical sign on the denominator by multiplying numerator and denominator by square root of 3. So we have negative square root of 5 times square root of 3 that is negative square root of 15 and then square root of 3 times square root of 3 that is square root of 9 and the square root of 9 that is 3. So this will be the slope of the tangent line. So I hope you've learned from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.